Hey everyone, welcome back to Great Northwest Weaponry. This is Thomas, and today we are taking a look at the VZ-24. This is an awesome gun. Uh, these are actually considered one of the best Mauser copies that exist. Uh, these and uh, uh, Swedish Mausers also kind of hold that claim as well. But uh, these were manufactured in Czechoslovakia based on the design of the Gewehr 98, the predecessor to the Car 98. And it's actually kind of funny. So these, these are based on the Gewehr 98, but the Gewehr 98 is about that long. So they cut it down significantly. And the Germans liked that so much when they started getting their hands on these, because these were exported all over the world. The Germans liked the shorter version of the Gewehr 98 so much that they actually developed the Car 98K or K98K or just Car 98 to a lot of people loosely based on this they had already knew that they wanted something a little shorter but not quite as short as the carbines because uh the carbine wasn't as accurate however this you're you're not compromising accuracy enough at this length for it to be a concern so these are very accurate rifles they're a tack driver they were manufactured from 1924 to 1942 and uh quite a few of those years were during the German occupation. The Germans invaded in 39, I believe, and they pretty much just confiscated every single one of these. So these were very popular on the Eastern Front and in uh, Eastern Europe German occupation police forces. And then later, the Russians came in and invaded and confiscated all of them pretty much. And then you had, uh, again, they were just very common among the Russians as well. Also very heavily used by the Axis-aligned Romanian army, uh, also primarily on the Eastern Front in World War II. So these saw use all over. They were also manufactured in quite a few different calibers and uh, exported all over the world, as I'd said previously, but they served in other conflicts such as the Spanish Civil War and multiple conflicts in South America. They were very popular there. So yeah, it's an awesome rifle. Uh, let's go ahead and stick this thing on the table and take a closer look. So here we are, VZ-24, manufactured by uh, Zbrzovka Bruno, or however the heck you're supposed to say that, B-R-N-O. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's your VZ-24 mark. Serial number is usually on the left side of the receiver. This one is not matched, and that is probably because of the Russians. Thank you, you beautiful Ruskies, for defiling every gun you ever got your hands on. <laughs> um, you can actually see on the stock of this one, the original serial number is X'd out, and then there's a new serial number printed on here that is actually a match to the serial number up here. That is something the Russians did regularly. They would strip down a gun, clean it, often re-blue it and refinish it. This stock actually appears to be a Russian finish, uh, to the best of what I can tell. But um, you, can, you can see a bit of the original, more reddish color underneath as it's starting to wear off on the top. So that is something that the Russians just kind of tended to do, and I believe that is an indicator that this is Russian capture. That is usually the case. So another thing with this, you notice there's two sets of swivels. This is an interesting thing. These were intended to be used by both the infantry and the cavalry with no modification needed. So for the infantry, they use the bottom swivels, as this one is set up for, and then for the cavalry, they use the side swivels. So that's a... Interesting little thing. Safety is the your standard wing style safety. Uh, it doesn't. There, have to have the uh, bolt back in order to use that. So this is fire. This is safe. And then bolt extraction is as easy as it gets. It's the same lever out the side that you always see on really anything that is based on the Car 98 or the Gewehr 98 in this case. So, yeah, it's an, it's an interesting piece. Uh, the Germans had their own name for this. They called it just the Gewehr 24, but very few of them comparatively were actually manufactured during German occupation. So, let's go ahead and shoot it some more. Okay, right now we are loaded with the safety on. Uh, and real quick, I ought to mention, this gun does not belong to me, but in the near future, it might. This is another one from my friend Jason, who I'm out having a shooting weekend with. So, hey, yes, hello Jason. It's a great gun. Uh, these are chambered in 8mm Mauser, but uh, as I'd already mentioned, they chambered them in various calibers for export. 
but the ones that they used were eight millimeter and the vast majority of them were eight millimeter. So let's go ahead and fire. thing just it's it's just butter it just shoots so nice i'm i'm really a fan they've they made a good product back in the day with these things and you know with this being uh from somewhere in the 20s or 30s uh because of the mismatch serial numbers and how poorly kept records were on them i haven't been able to identify the exact date on this one but uh it doesn't have the german designation of uh G24, it is, it is marked VZ24, so that tells me that it's from between tw uh, 1924 and 1939, so it's not a late production one, uh, but the thing is though, over three quarters of a million were made during that time period, the only about, uh, I, I believe it was 10 to 20,000 were actually made during German occupation. They just kind of seized them because they're, you know, they've got all these wonderful rifles laying around and a whole lot of men needing rifles, so take the rifles. And then the Russians come through and, as I said, did the exact same thing and then defiled them by taking the wrong bolt and putting it in the wrong gun because they just didn't care. But as such, these are usually pretty accessible. They're, they're not that hard to find and usually not wretchedly expensive. If you want a car 98 that served in the war almost certainly, you could do a lot worse than one of these. They're, they're fantastic rifles. Uh, this is uh, elevator sight, and uh, you just depress uh, both ends of that, and it adjusts. It's just, everything about it is just, it's smooth, it's buttery, I like it. I'm gonna shoot it some more because I like it so much. These are fed with your standard uh, CAR-98 or just 8mm Mauser stripper clips, by the way. Uh, they're easy to get and dirt cheap, so... wonderful it's a wonderful rifle I am a fan so hope you guys enjoyed the video it's been Thomas of Great Northwest Weaponry I'll see you next time